Hello everyone. Today we're going to be making a, a biochar kiln or furnace. And what you'll be needing is, uh, first of all, a steel drum. All right. Going to need a grinder. Okay. Need some eye protection, hearing protection, something to mark, uh, mark it off with. I bought the straight edge and I bought this this uh, builder square, and then something to stabilize the drum. And we'll be using the bricks for that. Okay, so I put the bricks under the, the drum like that, so it's nice and stable. You want to turn it on its side, obviously, and you want the big uh, opening at the top and the little plug at the bottom. Right, so I've marked it off. <clears throat> I decided I'm going to go for a 30 centimeter wide opening here. And I just use the builder square to make sure that my lines run nice and straight. Uh, it's probably strictly speaking not necessary but I, I'm going to use this for a couple of years and I'd rather do it right the first time and not have to come back later on and want to fix it because I don't like what it looks like. Um, now <clears throat> this drum had polyester resin in it so it's probably flammable as hell in there. So it would be a good idea to remove this and that guy beforehand and leave it open for a couple of minutes to air out. Don't throw them away you're going to need them later. Okay, so both of them are removed and I want to I wanna really emphasize this guys, you got to do this first. When I opened that bottom one, the whole can actually it felt like wind suddenly coming, whoosh, coming out of there. And that is all flammable uh, 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 vapors in there. So just really be careful, do this beforehand. Because I'm a bit worried about flammable vapors in there, I want to burn them off. But this thing has been open now for a couple of minutes. So let's see. Nothing. This is safe. You can't really see the flame, but yeah, it's there, alright. Okay. Right, we're ready to start cutting into these lines now. Uh, grinder, eye protection, hearing protection. Make sure you wear these things. I've got a friend, actually a couple of friends, but you and you know who you are. We would do this without wearing this stuff. Guys, don't be stupid. I would also recommend that you have some kind of uh, fire suppression available if you're doing this. Uh, if there's any chance of anything around you catching fire. Now, two years ago, there would have been no chance of anything burning here because well, this was all desert two years ago. But obviously, that's changed a bit. So I needed to have some water here, and that's why I've got the hose pipe right there. And we're done. This is the part that was up here. So I just dropped it in there and there you see the resin. Um, we're going to, obviously we're going to burn all of that away. I would also take a, a recommend that you take the grinder and you just run it along the edge for, a, a, you know, all the way around. Right on the edge, as you can see there, just to round this thing off a little bit because these edges are really, really sharp. And you'll be working here with um, with flames and everything. You don't want to add uh, the danger of getting cut to to your other woes. Right. Uh, so I'm ready for the initial burn. I just want to get rid of. I don't know if you guys can see that white stuff there. That's resin. Uh, I just want to get rid of the resin first. So it's just going to be a small burn. Uh, I'm not really expecting to get any biochar out of it. Um, I've opened that bottom. A little little hole so that the fire can get oxygen and so it can start nicely and once it's done that will be closed okay I lit the fire made very sure that I've got reliable water right here with me in case it gets into the grass over there anywhere so as I said just a small fire only a little bit of wood that I'm putting in and I can see on that side I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up in the light uh, you can see that the, the resin is already starting to burn off on that side. You can also smell it in the air. Okay, this is almost ready to douse the flames. <clears throat> if you can see, the tops of the wood is starting to go white, which is a sign that you can stop it.
boy oh boy I want to tell you guys this thing is hot 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 Okay, the fire is out. I guess I can turn off the water now. And we're done. There you go. Almost half a well not quite half a drum, but quite a bit of biochar. More than I than I've had before. Than the last time when I used the other uh, biochar maker, this one works way better it looks like. Okay, so let's cool all of this down. Or leave it to cool down at least. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this, remember to like and subscribe. Bye.